think keeps the every time you plug in your headphones, it ah. redirects. Okay. So now I just need to know like what settings on that mic and that.
Hello, viewers. Hello, trainer Minoto. I, I hope tournament mode's on. Welcome. We've got a special guest commentating with me today. This is Principal Frieder at long last. So we are very excited for this. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is definitely uh, out of my comfort zone, but I get a chance to do a lot of sports here at Bayport, and uh, here's one of them, eSports. And so I plan on uh, observing for the first time a live contest here, and uh, Bayport takes on Racine Case, and I'm looking forward to learning a lot today, actually, and know nothing about the game that we're playing, which is called... It's called Valorant. Valorant. So I'm sure I'll hear more about that from Coach Steenerson here today, explaining more about how this exactly works. I'm just trying to look up something real quick just to make sure that I have the right settings. Um, so if you're listening in, and you know, in this room right now, there's a number of different people who are playing a number of different games. Pretty cool to see just the engagement of the kids, the technology, how serious they take it, the strategies. Three coaches sitting in this room, too, working with the teams. And so very similar to what you'd see at a, any other sporting event, quite honestly. It absolutely is. It's, I give lots of credit to my coaches. I am super happy that they exist because without them, I would not be able to do this. I wouldn't be able to have a team. So big credit to all the coaches, for sure. Kind of interested how they get their names. Like how, how, you know, yeah. how do you get the name of Iron Warrior or Voltage or so Ziggy I, Z3. Yeah, or, I think a lot of these folks, you know, who have been playing online games for a long time, um, just kind of adopt an alias and then they stick to it. So the name that I've stuck with is Jar Jar. And I've, I've been Jar Jar since I was in high school, to be honest. So oh, Wow. And and how, these, how does Jar Jar, what, what did that originate uh, It's from? a character from Star Wars Episode One, Jar Jar Binks. We go. Most people think he's pretty annoying, but I think he's awesome. I've never seen Star Wars. You've never off seen the Star record. Wars. No, I've off actually, the record. Well, this is on the record. Well, on the record. <laughs> I mean, I've actually was a part of a trivia show with the Green Bay Press Gazette of people who haven't seen Star yeah, Wars. That's it, right. That's it's right. out there somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where it is, but we're about to get started here. I think. Yes, we're just waiting. I wouldn't for... have any idea because I, one of our players had a PC issue, and we're just waiting on him. To Correct it. It looks like he's getting logged in right now to Valorant. So it's kind of like taping up, second. right? Like in a regular, Absolutely, right? Yes. Like that would be like getting, pulling a maybe pulling a hamstring or something. Uh, there's right? actually way more equipment too when you think about it that has to work properly with uh, with video gaming. Um, you know, if your helmet breaks, you put a screw in or something right. like that. But your PC breaks, that's a big deal. So so this game six on six is that is how this game is played? Or? So it's a five on five game, uh, and as Oh, we can probably click this so we can actually see what we're looking at here. Because um, this is what they see. So no. they don't even see this right now. Oh, That's I my got bad. You. We got yeah, to see this. Uh, so, hold on. There we go. Okay. So, uh, the 5v5 match, um, attackers, defenders, and then each team has a coach slot. So, if you're in the coach slot, you can only see what your team is doing. Um other thing is that uh, basically the way this game works is um, attackers have an objective and defenders have an objective, and they kind of interact around the objective. So attackers are essentially trying to plant something called a spike, which is a, basically a bomb. Okay. And defenders are trying to defend a couple bomb sites or spike plant sites, and... They're trying to either prevent the spike from being planted at all by eliminating the entire enemy team, or they can actually defuse the spike after it's been planted, if you would defuse a bomb. So the game takes place over a number of rounds, and you can win rounds by either eliminating all the entire enemy team, or if you're the attackers, successfully de detonating the spike, if you're the defenders, successfully defusing the spike. Get your attacker one time and then your defender the next time. Is that how it works? Uh, yeah, basically, uh, except you'll play all of your attacker sides in a row. So they'll play, I think it's seven or eight rounds. Uh, seven or eight rounds. I can't remember what the number is. Um, and then you switch sides. We're going to find out. So right? we'll find out, yeah. exactly. We'll see when we pop in the game here. Um, 
It's, I know it's first to 13. So wh whichever team wins 13 rounds first wins the match. Okay. And why 13? Um, Pick that number. The, the creators the, of the game. The World <laughs> yeah, the world Esports Organization? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So another game that's very similar to this. Looks like um, we're about to start here. That's right. Yep. We're hopping on to Icebox today. So Icebox is the map this week. Um, one thing that's unique to Valorant is you pick a champion or a character to play. And each character has um, a special abilities. So right now we've got a, a Sova, a Reyna, a Sage, a Viper, and a Phoenix. And then we can see the you know, the players who are on each of these characters. Um, the characters also have roles. So like Sage is a support class. So Sage is going to try to heal. Um, I can't remember what all the other ones. Uh, A-Frame, I think, uh, who's on uh, Phoenix. He's a duelist, but his main ability is he can throw flashbangs and blind the enemy. There's basically, you're going to see all kinds of abilities. Um, so do you usually, if you're a player, do you usually pick one of the people and concentrate on that? Yeah, you kind of do. Yeah, player, you kind of like a quarterback. Yes. Yeah, you would definitely main something, um, have a main character that you're good at playing. Um, but also, it's kind of map dependent. So like each map is different, and sometimes you set up your team composition based on you know, what you kind of expect to see. Um, yeah. Tr Trainer Minoto is pointing out it's a 5v5 tactical first-person shooter game. So that's super accurate. All right, so um, this is round one. Um, you can see the, the scoreboard here. Um, ADA, so it will be your kills, your deaths, and then your assists. And then you see loadout. That's the weapon that they cur the player currently has equipped. And then credits is how much money they have. There's also an economics component to this game because you nice. actually buy your weapon. Um, and then each character also has an ultimate, and that's kind of like a really special ability. Um, one of the other things that you purchase is your abilities. So you can see on the bottom of the screen here, they have a C, a 4, an E, and a Q. Q is your ultimate. E is like some sort of utility. 4 is also some kind of utility, so is C. So you've got your, you know, like a gun, like Call of Duty. Okay. But you've also got special abilities. Um, we're, right now we're watching Iron Warrior, who's playing Viper. And Viper has some area denial and also some that they'll do to try to like zone out the enemy so uh, round one's pistol round round one is super important um, for momentum in the game because it allows you to get money so if you win you get lots of money if you lose you don't get as much money and it gives you that economy advantage um, so right now there's four um, attackers alive two defenders so right now Bayport is up on this and we planted the spike um, currently defending the spike from the defenders, and we won the round. 1-0 one one. Pirates. 1-0 one Pirates. Pirates That's taking right. early lead here. Great first round by Bayport there. Only I have not one. announced us losing yet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 12. Okay, 12 rounds per side, then it switches. Thank you, Trainer Moto. Trainer Minamoto. So 12 rounds, then it switches to the other side. Okay. Um, all right, so we can see the scoreboard here. Let's see. All right, so Ziggs picking up three kills in the first round. I think that means we need to watch Ziggs. So we can switch between which player we want um, to watch. Um, who are you? If you're playing this game, you can watch only your own player? Yes, yeah. Um, when we're spectating um, in the coach slot, we can only view our team. Okay. Because obviously, if I was able to switch over to their team, could, I could just yell at them, like, hey, they're going this way. That'd be frowned upon. That would be frowned upon and cheating. Yes. yes. No right. good, no good. Um, other thing that's kind of... So you can see on the, the mini-map there in the top left corner, um, there's bombsite A, bombsite B. So those are the two spots where you can plant the spike. So attackers are going to try to take one of those bomb sites and control it so okay. that they can plant the spike. And that's a flawless victory. That is amazing. That's great opening two rounds from Bayport here. Not even taking it. We've taken one death out of these two rounds so far, so that's huge. The Pirates lead 2-0. up lead to two zero, yeah. how many on this side? Up to 12. 12, yeah. 12. 12, 12. Yep. First so team first to 12, to then they'll switch sides. Yep. So then if you win 12 rounds, you only need one round on the next side to win. Oh, so it's, a huge so it's 13 total, 13 total, but yeah. the first 12 are would be you as the attacker or you as the defender. Correct, yes. Um, so this is A-Frame. A-Frame had three or four last round, so we'll, we'll watch him. Um, you can, so you can see some of this utility that's getting sent out. Um, you notice those like blue and yellow... Like we're in an airport right there, quite honestly. Yeah, yeah, we're down, yeah. we're going down the jetway right, right now. Right, exactly. Uh, okay, so I think this is A-Frame's ultimate. It's called Run It Back. Basically, right now, if he dies, 
he's gonna go back to where he started the ult. So now he's back. He so right now he just gained information. He knows where two of the enemies are. Um, we're getting. We just got. Uh, Pounded. Yeah, we, we got eliminated there in a few places. So kind of a new strategy. Is when you're down to one and they have five, I mean, what? It's tough. He's gonna have to reverse sweep and do an ace here. Um, throwing, so those things he's throwing out, those are flashbangs. He's trying to blind the enemy. He got one, one a limb at least, but uh, two one now. You're scoring. Two one now. So see case on the board. Case is able to get up on there, so you can kind of see the economy situation here with the credits. Um, it looks like some of the folks on Bayport. Yeah, it looks like Bayport is going for a buy here. Um, you can see in the loadout they've got rifles. Default, you start with a pistol, so if you don't buy, you're only gonna. And the credits on the way right hand side, the yep. big number there. That yep, that's how much cash you have to buy. So we're seeing case looks like it's got they, a lot of money to yep, buy. They stuff got some right money, now. and they only had one death, so they're going to be ahead in the economy game. So they got to keep all their guns, their armor. Um, it's going to be harder to kill them. Some Iron Warrior here. They I mean, you give up some things early on to try to make sure you don't you use some of those things. Yeah, What's absolutely. the strategy behind that? Um, so personally, like. I was coaching and I lost round one. I would be telling my players to save. So we wouldn't buy anything, and we'd probably be saving for the next round. To actually, have a buy. Okay. Because if you, you know, if you buy, kind of like half, you're not going to have great equipment. But if you just save up all your money, you can get really good equipment. and gives you a better chance of winning. So generally, people are going to save right away. Uh, so we kind of looks like we showed as a team that we're trying to go to B, but now we've rotated over. Bomb side A, we're going to try to take this one. Uh, a frame taken out from across the way there. Waterboy. I mean, Waterboy gets a kill on Iron Warrior through the wall, actually. Headshot through the wall. Yeah, in case uh, maybe a, a little tense in their first matches, but they seem to have uh, first rounds. They seem to be doing better now. There's a timer up here, 25 seconds. If that runs out, is, the, is that game over? Or do we start another game? How does that work? So if the timer gets to zero, defenders win the round because they would have successfully defended the, okay. uh, the, the bomb site. So Sage currently has a spike. That's what the, the triangle beneath her name up there means. Um, and she's currently trying to save because if she survives, she keeps her equipment. Okay. If she dies... So class can run all cases, yeah. going to get the win, but... So I, I don't think Rollboat's going to get money right now, but Rollboat, oh, they get a small amount. Oh, yes, yeah, so they get a thousand. So they do get money if they survive. And another game I play is very similar, kind of based on this one. You don't get any money, but saving allows you to retain your equipment. You don't get as much cash. But you get two two the score after four rounds. This is incredible. To give you a feel for the novices out there, six people playing a team, but only five play. And they're all sitting in a room, one here at Bayport and the other one at Racine Case. Yes. Yep. No bus costs. With these boys. No bus costs, not until state. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> Unless you're in the semifinals or the championships. So how much do these guys practice? I mean, um, uh, guys and girls, I should say, but... Yeah, so we practice uh, four days a week, generally speaking. Um, we're in here four days for each team with uh, with our teams. We do uh, two in-person practices, one online practice, and then a match day. Um, but a lot of these, a lot of the kids play from home on their own. Yeah. In addition to that, um, one of the things that we added this year is added online practices in effort to encourage kids to play with their teammates. On their own sure um, so it looks like we've got a diffuse in play here um, yeah with the spike was diffused so the wall was in the way there they're able to get a diffuse on it um, getting the spike plan it does get you a little bit of extra cash uh, but with that you're seeing case is able to take the lead we'll so who has the here. spike right now so right now the spike is being held by rollboat so in the top of the screen there you can see, oh, you can see. Um, the sage by the design, by the sink. Yep. yep. Okay. That triangle. And she's That's gonna plant that somewhere. She's gonna try to plant that. Yeah. So they're gonna. It has to be planted in a certain place. Yep. So if you look at the mini map, there's an A and a B, and there's kind of like that tannish color. Yep. That's the, the areas where the bomb can possibly be planted. Um, kind of one of the abilities that this guy's got his name's 
Sova, um, being played by Voltage. He's got a kind of like an arrow that can give you information about where the enemy is. So if it pings an enemy, the enemy will show up on the map. So he sent that into the bomb site to see if there are any enemies there. Nothing showed up, but we're seeing cases been kind of playing for retakes for the most part, meaning they seem content to let Eightport get the spike planted, and then their strategy is to just retake the bomb site and defuse the spike. That's what they did last round. Looks like that's going to be the strategy. Bayport's going to have to improve their ability to, to hold the bomb site if they want to have some success here. And you can hear the coach in the background play for time, stall, hugely important to do that. That looks like uh, those Sova arrows fired and they're on the left side there. And Bayport loses that round too, unfortunately. Again, Bayport's going to have to create some space on those bomb sites. Bayport got a quick 2 0 lead, and now the same case comes back. And Oh, and you said before they're undefeated going into tonight's match. Three and oh, is that right? Yeah, they are three and oh, yeah. When they've lost rounds before on previous matches, um, I think the most they lost in one was either five or seven. So, Bayport's got some work to do here. Are there six players? There's five, five players, five players. But there's a six person? That's so that's us. That's oh, that's coach. us. The coach, yeah. I see. So, there's like someone off the bench in case your hands cramp no, up. Yeah, no, yeah. And that's that's kind of one thing that's a little unfortunate about um, Valorant is. Enemy intel just came in there. Sorry, uh, they, they sent something in. So those two players showed up for the enemy. The enemy knows that they we Bayport's got two guys right there, two, two people right there. Um, we're seeing case notes. Uh, Aitor trying to get a pick on that guy, but kind of hidden there. Uh, they're spending some utility. Part of the game is getting your opponents to spend their utility, their special abilities, because once those are gone, they're gone until the revive. I was saying something before that, but I have no idea what it's it was. Okay. It's okay. It happens to me all the time. <laughs> so here we go again, down under a minute. Yep. And the defenders would win this round if we get to zero, That's by my right. understanding. So Bayport is making a play on A here. So... I was thinking earlier, they create a little bit of space. I mean, maybe take some of the outside the bomb site a little bit. Good kills by Bayport there. Throwing the molly on the ground. Oh, nice, nice plays by A frame there to find a, a couple kills. And you can hear the guys in the background clapping a little yes, bit yeah, for each other. They are happy to get that round right there. Big um, win there for Bayport to, after a four match victory. Back in at 4-3. So, so the thing in the hand, that's your... Is that your... No, no, no the plant is with us. Yeah, so if you notice, people take out their knives, right? Yeah. And so this guy's got a special model for his knife wherever he went. Um, but based on what weapon you have out, you move at a different speed in this game. Okay. So you can move at your fastest speed with a knife. Um, some of the other guns, like uh, there's one weapon that's a, it's a sniper rifle. Um, if you hit him in the chest, it kills you in one hit. Um, generally speaking, a headshot is really powerful in this game because with certain guns, it kills you in one shot, but you have to have precise aim. Um, when you're using the, the sniper rifle that kills in one shot, um, it's uh, it makes you move pretty slow. Now, when you say you practice, yeah. So, do you practice by playing the game, or do you practice by having individual character? Pra how does it, how does practice? Work? So usually, it's kind of a mix of a few things. Um, we are, our players are doing, uh, our, our players are doing things like practicing their aim, so they're practicing the mechanics of moving the mouse and doing the crosshair where it needs to go really quickly. Um, and then they're also doing more uh, mechanical stuff where you're practicing game things like movement and shooting at the same time, so it'll be like a death match, kind of like Call of Duty where you're in a lobby and just your goal is to shoot people. Never played Call of Duty. Never played Call Never of Duty? Played, no. Are you no. familiar with the game? Not really. My kids play it. Okay. Yeah, so and they're playing uh, off a of mouse. All be mouse off and mouse. keyboard. Yep. So okay. keyboard is kind of what controls your your like movement forwards, backwards, side to side. Mouse is what allows you to breathe. Up. And the keyboard and the mouse need to be similar on each computer. How does that work? Um, advanced keyboards, advanced mouse. So we yeah we've got I mean we've got gaming. We got a res there actually. Um, the three versus one. This is probably gonna be a big round. Um, 
but yeah, we've got gaming mice and keyboards installed here, and all all the gamers worth their salt will also enjoy good gaming mice. And Bayport ties it up four four. Yeah, there we go, Bayport. Nice and a one v one. Nice moves by Viper there by Iron Warrior. Here in a minute, Minoto, are you um, Iron Warriors? Ken, are you related to Iron Warrior? So now we're talking to someone on the chat. Yeah, we're asking some, we've got two viewers in chat right now. So. Okay. Um, but this will, um, once the video is, or once the stream's over, it'll be posted onto Twitch and the bottle will be available for 14 days. So kids can so go back and watch their play or yes, watch a strategy. Exactly. Or... Yeah, and that's another way we practice, actually, is by reviewing you know, gameplay from previous matches. So, like, what Valorant will be doing on Thursday, most likely, win or lose, we'll be reviewing the film, breaking down the tape of what, what they did. Um, got a good match to this. It's probably one of the most competitive Valorant matches we've seen yet this season uh, for Bayport. Um, and it, uh, really, probably for Case 2. So, always got to give a shout out to your, your competition. It brings out the best. How many matches has Bayport played in Valorant up to this point? We played three. We're currently two and one. Okay. Um, we got eight total in the season. I'm not sure if they've actually announced how playoffs will work on this. Um, odds are pretty much all the teams will make some sort of playoff tournament. And you can go online to check out standings and things like that. Is that yep. all recorded? Yep, you sure can, yep. Really all cool. Right. And again, I, you know, I, mad big credit to the WIHSEA, Wisconsin High School Esports Association. Not very many states in the country have an esports association that is run at the state level. Um, and so we are super fortunate that we've got a great president, and great coaches willing to help on this. Close round there by Bayport, but unfortunately not able to defend the spike in the last few seconds. Um, one thing about defending the spike, defusing the spike, excuse me, takes 10 seconds. And if you get five seconds in, it saves your progress. So you can defuse for five seconds, come back, and defuse later. So typically, attacker, defender, if you, you know, when you get you know, 12 matches, right? Yep. 12 rounds. Who yep. usually has the advantage? So it depends on the map. Um, some, you know, the goal is to have balanced maps so that there's no attacking or defending side that's more okay. powerful. But um, I'm not sure on this particular map if it's attacker or defender side. Um, I know in some maps it's definitely. But I'm not sure about this one. It might seem like I know a lot about this game, but a lot, I don't. A lot actually. more than I do. <laughs> yeah. um, it's I, I played this game when it came out, um, so maybe six months or so. But I wound up going back to my old classic, which was Counter Strike. And Valorant, how, I mean, how long has this game been out there? Uh, gosh, it's a couple of years now. Um, they keep up updates on it, or yep. yep. So I, I'm not sure how many characters you can play. There's a bunch of characters available. I think it's more than 20. Um, so yeah, they keep releasing new maps, new characters. So Spike is down. 5v5 situation here. Again, Case is... We've seen Case stick to their game plan. Unfortunate. Um, oh, no, Flank. They, I think the Bayport is behind there. But uh, the retake is too strong. 6-5 now. Valorant's three years old. Thank you. Wild card six. So is it typical that if you see people on the chat, you might ask where they're from? Or is that like a hidden uh, thing? You, you don't no, want to know that? you could. Or... I mean, if, uh, if anyone in chat wants to say where they're from, Principal Freeder might like to know. Give a little shout out. Yeah, give a little shout out. Um, wild card six. We, we have an esports player, actually, with a wild card. It'll be three on June 6th. Cool. Well, thanks for the info, Wildcard. So is your name on the screen the same as the name you play with in the game? Or... Um, yeah, it's a lot of cases. Some people will use the same names. Um, I think I need a name. I think I definitely need a name. I think you do, too. Yeah, you I need know. a gamer tag. Absolutely. Yeah, there's no question. You know, it might connect with, like, what, what would you, if you were a WWE or an AEW well, wrestler, you know. what would you wrestle as? Probably the king. The king. Y you I know, mean, that makes sense, being the principal. It does, right? yeah. So I think your gamer tag could be definitely something similar yeah. to that. 
Okay, there you see a flash. There you see a push by A-frame. I love to see that. There's a third to the right there, but he brought it back. That was his ultimate. So there you see his ultimate. He got two kills out of it. They're still dead. He comes back alive to life. Oh, okay. So it's a very strong ultimate. It was a very good play. Um, as you know, I said, I said earlier, or maybe I should be the coach of this. You know, Isaac's doing a great job. But as you can see there, um, getting out there, they, they took Case by surprise. The King BP Wildcard 6 recommends in chat. Love it. Love, I love it. it. I love it too. Great suggestion. Um, now we're down to a 2v1 situation. Oh, and there you saw the Sheriff. That's the name of that gun, the Sheriff. It's a revolver. It shoots really big bullets. 6 5 now, so it's only down one. This will be the last one, right? Of yep. the last one, Ross Round. Attacker Defender. Slot. It'd be nice to see Bayport tie this up 6 6. That way, you know, it's nice and balanced. Um, the other thing too, in, uh, in the, you have to win by two. Oh. So you need two rounds in order to could go forever to win. We could go for we, we could we, go for a while. We it's might possible. we may not even be at school. Yeah. We could go forever. <laughs> yeah, the graphics is unbelievable. It certainly is a, a pretty looking game. We've got other teams too that compete in a number of different games, right? Yes, but we do. Yep, and we'll actually have uh, you know a stream tomorrow for League of Legends. Uh, they play their varsity match, and then they have another match on Thursday, a makeup from last week that was rescheduled. Um, so they'll be playing two matches in a row this week. We'll have, so we'll have a stream uh, tomorrow for League of Legends around at four o'clock, and then we'll have another stream on Thursday, also at four o'clock for League of Legends. Um, and then next week we'll have Valorant again on Tuesday, okay. and then. League of Legends on, on Wednesday. And the season wraps up? I think uh, first week of May, I believe. So we'll, this is actually the halfway point, right? This is game four. So okay. we have four more weeks, and then uh, playoffs will begin. And the teams are all in the state of Wisconsin, I'm Yes, assuming. yes. And that's, again, that's what one of the things that makes... Um, 30 seconds left. Uh, one of the things that makes Wisconsin unique is that we actually do get to compete against Wisconsin. Illinois has got something. Most of the states in the United States do not. They'll play like a national company corporation, like play versus you wind up playing Coach Mike. Okay. Um, we just had a wildcard for esports. It's wildcard role play. Yes, it's wildcard RP. So, yeah, I, wildcard wild six has got some inside humor jokes going on here, which you gotta love to see it. We have a, a guy who goes by wildcard RP and role plays. RP is off, often role playing but he is not wild card role playing. So beep bop boo is going for the one is going to have to ace this round out basically. Ace is all five players at this point. Um this 1v5 situation. Are still going to tie it up here at 6 I, after 12. You know, I'm not sure if Iron Warrior There it is. Iron Warrior spike detonated. All right, I don't know what uh JIK is doing here on the save. Switching sides. All right, so uh by phase. Was this the swap? I thought this was a swap. Maybe. Okay. Defending. Well, what does buy phase mean? So buy phase is the first. Yeah, yeah. Okay, here we go. Uh, buy phase is the first. Uh, I don't know, about roughly thirty seconds. Um, you have time to buy equipment. Okay. So uh, we don't really see this because um, we don't see their buy screens. We're just kind of seeing the results. Okay. Of their loadout. So right now, pirates on defense. Is that right? Or are we yes. still in? We are now on defense, yes. And again, back to pistol round. So we have a huge round. We won the first pistol round. Um, you can see it uh, in the middle of the screen there. We won the first two, lost the next four, and then we traded 2-2. Two, two. Got it. Pistol round's huge, though, because it kind of give, dictates what you're going to do the next round, but also determines how much momentum. Great shot by Rolled out there. Um, puts a wall to kind of Lock that space off. Uh, looks like Voltage is taking some shots down the hall here. You can find it the kill. Excellent elimination there. We've got a 4v3 situation. Uh, nice trade there. Iron v Warrior picks it up. Nice 3v1. shot. 2v1. Nice shot. Pirates win it. Ziggs. Holy cow. 7 6. They take the lead. That was, those were some good one taps. So, I have no idea what's going on. All like, I'm worried about is that number on the it top. It looked there. good yeah. though, it did it? Yes. Beautiful. 
So you saw some, what you saw there was some good aim. Um, the way uh, you buy armor, essentially. Okay. And you can also buy armor with When you helmets. say you buy armor, you, you're buying protection? Yes, for your character. You basically okay. make it so you can take more damage before you're eliminated. Gotcha. And once you get the advanced armor, the, the better armor, um, you get a helmet. Oh, and that helps, That's it? super yeah. important. Yes. It's like football. Yes. A helmet um, is going to help you. The weapons they're using in the pistol rounds, well, first of all, you don't have enough money to buy a helmet in round one. But if you get hit with a pistol in the head, you die instantly, essentially. So that's not good. That's not good. No, no. Yeah. No. Um, it's good to aim for the head and find eliminations that way, but it shows the importance of armor and a helmet. Um, so getting one taps like that, meaning he fired one shot and hit them in the head, that's what we call a one tap. All right, it's up. I see 5v4 here. Yes, we yes, are. I got yes. my lingo down, yeah, don't I? Yeah, we're up five I'm learning before. it. Man. I'm not sure where that elimination came from. Someone must have pushed onto a bomb site. We got Rollboat running the shotgun here. Um, the shotgun, you can't move real fast. I'm guessing. No, you're yeah. You move kind of a little bit slower. Area. Yeah, and uh, you know, it's a close range weapon for sure. I like that that knife skin shape. It is nice. Ziggs popped off there. Unfortunately, we didn't see it. Ziggs got three. eight six pirates. Flawless, nice, great start again. All right, so we're, we're pirates so far on up two zero. That's then right. down four two. So we're on track. Coming here. Let's, back let's, again. Let's, uh, let's hope that we don't do that again. But yeah, love to see it. There's a swap there. Yes, they are. Look at that lineup, Larry Zombie. Zombie, I feel like you're someone important, but I don't know who you are. Question is who's Larry? I I don't know. No. I, I Larry the cable guy. I well, have no could idea. be. It could be. All I know it's eight six. Zami, uh, just in case you're just joining us, we've got uh, Coach Steenerson here. That's me, and we've got Principal Frieder in the building. This is outstanding. I've had this is absolute blast right now. Got a chance to do a lot of sporting events on internet, and this is one of the coolest things I've seen. Kids are into it. Here and behind us. Eight six. If you're just joining us, we're seeing Case versus Bayport. The amount of technology in these games is crazy. I'm, I'm guessing. Oh, ooh, ooh, water boy. That's finds, gonna hurt. That's gonna hurt in the morning. That's yeah. right. I'm guessing Zami and Trainer Minamoto just heard my comments about who Zami is because they are LOLing in chat. But I remember Zami was here for League of Legends too. And I was wondering who is this. Zombro person. All right, so a nice methodical slow push by by Case here. Um, Iron Warriors getting oh, looks like eliminated it's be eight, from behind seven there. here soon. Four v one for Case. What do you say? One v four on that? that this work? is a one v four. Oh, one v four. Yes. You got to go left to right. <laughs> well, well, reading like yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I guess. I'm learning. 8-7. 8-7, seven, yep. So, on track to repeat first round. Let's see here, economy-wise. So, Bayport going for a buy here. Going for a buy. What does so that mean? So, meaning uh, they have purchased weapons. You can see in the loadout, they've got rifles. Um, you can see that. They feel it's a big one. 8-7, turning point. Yeah, Maybe is, they really want this turning one. point. Yeah, they do. Um, they're, they're trying to... Back. So if you're Case, how do you defend that? What, what's your well, strategy? Well, so Case has got to, they've got to plant the spike. It's kind of on them to act here. So if we're, you know, from Bayport's perspective, we don't want to push. Uh, we don't want to make unnecessary pushes here. Because the more we push on defense, it gives them opportunities to get us. And so if they, if, if, if Racine Case can get a pick, meaning they can kill one of our players somewhere, that's going to probably push them into a bomb site. Um, they're, I think it looks like it looks like they're giving them bombsite and probably going to play the retake. I think that Racine Case is currently on bombsite. I'm not sure about that. Though. I'm trying to pop around and find where the action is. Okay, so we got, we got a little info there. We can see that modeling through the wall there. Uh, it might be Voltage that's going to see this. And the players see the map? They can see the map, yes. So they would know where other players are. Yes. Well, they and they'll see where their teammates are, and then if someone spots an enemy, All nice five v two kill by a frame. Spike's been planted. It appears. Spike diffuser killed. Three two right, now. It's three v two. So 
Big frame. game here, oh, 8-7. Oh, I'm just fortunate. Allied defusing. Last player standing. He had high ground there. So misses his shots real close. Find it here. Oh, oh an 8-8. 2v1. Woo! I cut the tension with a knife right now. I got you, zombie. Yes, this is a tense one. 8-8. Eight, eight. Tied at 8. So, in this round, Bayport is saving. So, they you know, they don't have much money. So, this is a round where oh, actually someone's buying. They're changing their minds. How do you get the they money to buy it? So you have to win rounds or secure elimination. You get a little bit of money after each round, no matter when each is bought. And so here we go. Eight, eight hurts to 13. Yep. Must win by two. So wall getting deployed by Robo here. And it looks like we've got a, we're, we're stacking a site here. So this is another strategy you might see from the defenders. They're sending all their players to bomb site B. They're hoping that that's where don't well you go back to the other bomb cell. So they are all indeed at B. Um, utility coming out so we can see the enemies 4v4. 4v4 situation where it looks like a, a dude's coming up on the right side, but they haven't planned the spike quite yet. Toxin really low, so that uh, green. You're kind of playing the corner here, looking to peek somebody potentially, but eight eight is what's showing us. Great match between Bayport and Team Base. Spike planted. Line up Larry is planted. Someone you call when they line up like this. Oh, I see what you're saying. Okay, line up Larry. Look at that lineup. So he means, you know, if you get you know, some of your enemies line up for you, meaning they all stand one behind the other, it makes okay. it pretty easy to eliminate them because you don't have to aim very much. So, Zami is saying, look at that lineup. I mean, they lined up and allowed themselves to be eliminated by Iron Warrior. I kind of use the word eliminated as much as possible. Yeah. Not the other one. Right. <laughs> 2v4. Case might take the lead here. Yeah, it looks like it. Rollboat. Probably going to try to stay. Here we go. Nine eight for seed case. That's right. Case takes the the lead here. So Coach Steenerson showing off a number of different things now here. And I wanted to make sure the setting was quick to launch. So nine eight. Oh. Yeah, this is 98. So let's see. Okay, so Bayport is back in a buy here. Uh, they got assault rifles. Uh, so they're going to have to, they got to find something here. Case goes up by two. It's going to be hard to find your way back here. But we got a mirror from, so far, we got the mirror from last side. What's the mirror? Well, if you look at, you know, we lost the first two, or won the first two, lost the next four. Sure. So we've currently. The same. So game we'll of streaks. It. That's right. Game of streaks. We'll see if this Momentum. Big up. mo. For, for sure. Cars looking to get back 4v1 here. 4v1. Looking to tie this one there up. They go. did. 9-9. Nine, nine. Nice. nice job. Nice job. Give we got ourselves there. a barn burner, folks. We sure do. It's a very close match. Doesn't it get any closer than 9-9. Nine, nine. No, it really no, doesn't. doesn't. No, it doesn't. No. Ah, uh, so... Um, you can see here the when this is all filled in and there's no hollow, that means they've got a helmet, they've got armor, it's fully equipped. Uh, Voltage does not have a weapon though right now. That's why it hurts. Yeah, you, you probably need one of those. There we here go. we go. We've got an actual weapon. So the but you, you can't the, see what the other team has. Yeah, you don't know what they have, but you do know how much money they have. So right, which is a lot. This, yeah, we can assume that they have a full buy right now. So they are, they're going to have full utility. So you don't see when they buy weapons. it, the money go down. Cause that would give it away. Yeah, I think that's right. Yeah, okay. That's a, good, that's a good point. I'm not sure exactly. Because they look like they're loaded, don't they? They are. And I'm right. kind of surprised that Valorant shows how much money people have. But... Taking shots at the same time. 
Five four V Bayport trying to four now four V four. It's a big one, right? Winner yeah, of this, this one. Is a big one goes up by one. Yep. Well, they're in striking distance of the win too if they win this one. All right. So now, if you notice, the map is blacked yes. out. Yeah, that yes. wasn't good. Yep. That is uh, one of the abilities of the enemy. So you cannot see anything that. I ah, think it might be his ultimate. Actually. Sneak attack. Seems a little cautious here. Yeah. Playing this one safe. Yeah, they're like kind of a robo 4v2. Pirates looking to take the lead here. Now 3v2, now 3v1. They got a 3v1 situation. It's still winnable though by 2v1. Spire seen spike not planted right now. Pirate. Spike not planted. So if we can round out the clock here. Nice kill by Iron Warrior. Ten Good nine pirates. Time. Excellent work. Taking the lead. Woo. We've got some audio things we can play here. Uh we'll do the woo. So this is Ric Flair. Woo. woo. Exactly. Yeah, if you Flair. press this oh, button, yeah. I can do that. Rick Flair I don't even woo. need that. Uh this is dough, you oh, know, well, Homer we, Simpson dough. You could use that for uh our other broadcasts, I think. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, actually, I'm thinking about bringing that up to the soccer booth. Oh, I love it. Game I love it. Programming and some stuff. Great round by Bayport there. Huge to take the 10 9. 10 9, your score. So, Iron Warrior. Let's see A frame here. A frame. Looking currently on top of the leaderboard here for us. Yeah, for 21 Bayport. kills for A frame. Yeah. What's the number next to that? 14 um, deaths. Oh, so he's two times alive. Time and a half. 1.5. Yep. 1.5 uh, kills to deaths. Yes. Very good. A little quick math there. Yeah, exactly. That's a great KD. Great ratio. Uh, and Hayes' assistance. So, uh, Case brings this one. Yeah. Convincing. 1v5, and it's over. Well, not yet. Never say never, or this is where you just kind of hide and protect. Skinny's got on his gun. Good stuff. Number of viewers out there right now. <laughs> we've, right. we've quadrupled our beginning. Do we have? Absolutely. Yes, yes we have. Oh, yeah. Word is spreading. Breeders yeah, announcing. Exactly. Let's exactly. 10 right, 10 so now you successful score. Successful save by Ziggs. 10 10, yep. So we got to win by two. So first 13. So getting close. Getting close here. First to 13, right? Has, must win by two. That's correct, sir. Big game here. We're 20 games in. 10 10. It's a tie between Bayport and Racine Case. This round, yep, Bayport's on a buy here. If they lose, they will probably save next round. And both teams kind of a little hesitant now. It just seems like they're just kind of feeling each other out. They feel the pressure, maybe. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. In these final games. Um, and really, Bayport feels more pressure right now because of the money situation. Um, Ace can afford to lose a round right now and still have enough money to buy next. Looks like we got top one trying to push bombsite A. Um, and there's more enemies in bombsite A. And so the wall drops down. Um, it looks like Case is now backing off of A, possibly rotating to B. So Bayport's kind of uh, adapting their adapting their alignment, their positions. Looks that I, I think that's a power toxin. And Brody is able to secure the limb on voltage. Four right here. Ten ten. If you're just joining us. Three v four. Spikes planted though. Oh, four v nice. two. Nice find. Sees the gun poking out. Four v one. Pirates trying to go up here. Eleven ten. And amazing. 
great work by the Phoenix by a frame. 11, 10 pirates. Now you said Woo. Case has some money. Case has got money. Yes, they do. So we're going to watch and see what happens to this money and see if it decreases. See if it does. And one guy's got 8,200. Yep, so they're going to buy an armor tank with that. Yes, so yeah, they have full money. They're going to be on a full buy right now, most likely. That's why they would save at this point. Um, very good retake by Bayport. Um, still don't see a lot of money decreasing. But I'm curious if that actually shows up. I'm not sure exactly around. how that works. And obviously, I would have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so, I think these matches lasted 30 minutes. Uh, this one lasted a little bit longer. Well, you can tell. It's 11 today. 10, and it's up to 13. You know, we had 21 matches. In this match, or games within this match, I'm assuming you'd call it. So someone is got an enemy sighted on A once again. A seems to be their preferred site. You can hear the players talking that way. Push it, push it, push it. Ooh, Cody is kind of their entry. So we get the three v four there. Um, Iron Warrior got picked somewhere. Run it back is active. So whatever he gets, he gets. Amazing by A frame once again, making great use of his ultimate in a two v one situation. Now in a one v two though, oh, he runs out of. I don't know what happened. There. 11, 11. 11, 11. Yes. So we got to win by two. So if one team wins these next two rounds, they are going to be the round winner. Ten seconds here from a match or game 23, 11-11 tie. Whatever way this one turns out. I mean, what a match. Happy to see a good quality competitive match for you. All right, A-frame playing a little angle here. You start in the same place on the map, or how does that exist? Yes, you do. Yep, yep. So we start... Uh, in that bottom portion, so it looks like A-frame might have got picked. Yeah, four v four now. We find one. We have one. No, A-frame not spike. getting picked. There's someone else. A-frame still alive. Three v four. And down goes A-frame. Two v four. Fifteen, but could be a game it's away kind here. Of a dire situation right now for Bayport because you know even if these two save. Keep their, their guns and their armor, but the rest of the team is not going to be on a buy. It's going to be a tough call. Uh, tough to bring this one back for Bayport, but I've seen bigger comebacks. Now it's 3v4. They got a person back. Right, so we got a resin that res. Um, might get some additional money, I guess. Oh, wait. Five Gets seconds. to keep their weapon, so that's huge. 12-10 oh. yeah. Racine Case. Okay, so 12-10. 12-11. 12-11, I'm sorry. So, now, Bayport needs a win to push it in a little overtime. Absolutely, yep. So, this is a match point here. you got to win by two. Huge match. You can cut the, cut you the can tension feel with it. the knife right now. You can right feel now. it in here right now. Bayport really wants this one. How many overtime matches have you seen? I have not seen any yet. Well, you might right now. It's possible, Coach. yeah. I, I, the power of positive mindset. We're going to see this overtime match here. Absolutely. Full boat. Holy cow, that's some tech right there. He gets super high up in the air. You can kind of see it inside here. Oh, so we got one on B, two on B. I like this, uh, this play. 5v4. All right, so we got a 5v4 there. We'll get that first pick. Only seen two enemies on the bomb site. There's a third. Ooh, unfortunate. Ooh, 4v4. Interesting choice of weapon there. Hugging that right side, looking for the peak. I like currently defusing the spike. Flash confirms corner peak. Oh, finds two. Well, 3v2. Pirates 3v1. 3v1 situation. Looking for overtime. And finds the last. Amazing round. Great round by Bayport. 12. Great it's round tied. by Bayport. Woo! 12-12. <laughs> We're going OT. All right. Well. 
Here we go. First to first to get a two point. I told you. Could go on all night, folks. Could be here for a get very your popcorn. Long time. That's right. Order your door dash. Right. What a match. Let's look at the back and forth here. Just absolute total back and forth match. You gotta love to see this one. Need some time here. Relax. Get the hands loose. That's right. Loose up the hands. Right. Not cold anymore. Right. Doing some exercise. We don't need our hand warmers. Getting, getting the fingers warmed up. There's a lot of training with that, though, too, isn't there? I mean, people train to be as quickly as they possibly can, correct? Absolutely. Yep. Yep. Old guy like me wouldn't be very good at this game, probably. Well, as with anything, it takes a lot, a lot of practice. So here we go, 12-12. So someone showed up on radar. I wonder if Bayport saw that. Someone was over near B side. Um, it looks like oh, we, we are, are we attacking over here? That's a good question. Now it goes 12-12. Yeah, we are. We are now attacking. Flip flops now, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I and mean, I'm not sure exactly how it swaps, but the resurrection for you. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. Yeah. And that was a, it turned out to be a great call to get the resurrect off that round. So five V four Bayport right now. Yep. I don't I, so I think we play three or four on this side. You also start with money too, so we didn't go back to a pistol. Five v three, pirates. Go up thirteen twelve. Five v one. Go oh, there we go, Bayport. Awesome. Thirteen we away, twelve, we pirates. Are one away. We're going crazy in here right now, coach. <laughs> amazing, amazing. Pirates looking to win it here. Down, they were down twelve eleven. They Came were. back and won 12, won 13. Just back and forth battle. A now frame, looking to win it. Topping 30 frags on the game. Match point here. Here we go, Bayport. 10 seconds to that. We're going to hit the... Uh, 26. The Barracuda here. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. All right, let's see it. Let's see it. All right. So, oh, are we on defense now? I must swap side to go side to side. I believe we're defending. Yeah, we are currently. Who's defending. saying Barracuda? By the way, uh, Heart. Heart. That's right. Call you the big music guy. Here it is, thirteen twelve. All right. So, let's see if Ziggs has seen anything on B. I, we did see a couple folks on on the A push. Could be a, fa a fake. Both people seem uh, just kind of feeling each other out now. More sighted at A. Including the Silva, so odds are that they're trying to make an A push right now. Um, Ziggs is starting to rotate, it looks like. Spike Carrier down. 3v2. 4v2. 4v2 Pirates. You can hear him talking in the background. Trying to wall bang through that. Okay, 3v2. 3v2. Rody finds one. Walks him low, so the, the green stuff's going away. 3v1, 2v1. 2v1 situation here. Spike has not been quite yet. Slow walking up, Ziggs is. Spotted up top. Working together. You just got to make this trade. And yes! Bayport wins the match. Amazing match by Bayport. Amazing, amazing what a comeback. by Case. It was a great pleasure to watch this one. I'm super happy that Principal Frieder, you got to see a, that was fantastic. an amazing game here. Um, big shout out to Brody, Waterboy, uh, Not Z Pro One, Bunny Boy, and Beep Bop Boo for a great performance. Um, I don't want to make predictions or anything, but I, I have a sense that we are going to see each other again in the future. We're here. thinking maybe state championship match? Yeah, possibly a state champion somewhere along the playoffs. Either way. Um, a frame, 32 kills. Yes, absolutely. 18 times killed. So he led the way for the Pirates. So you get a little bit of extra info here, too. You can see first blood, so that's a first kill in the round. Um, diffuses as well, and as well as your econ rating. Um, but in an amazing victory by Bayport. And we absolutely love to see this one. Awesome. Thanks, Coach Steenerson. You are absolutely a lot welcome. of fun. Thank you very lot of much fun. for coming by. Um, and now, let's see, you can play the champions. Oh, where's that? Oh, gotcha. Just, yep. And so we'll. We'll leave you with a little bit of champions. Little queen, we are the champions. Queen, Is yeah. that right? Perfect. 15 seconds of queen. Pirates win.
14 12 in overtime 14 12 in overtime folks uh again we'll see you tomorrow for val uh sorry league of legends tomorrow league of legends thursday have a great night uh we'll see you later have a good one see ya thanks that was awesome